Rwanda and Benin signed an agreement on Saturday to facilitate military assistance to help Porto Novo secure its borders. The agreement was signed on the first day of Rwandan President Paul Kagame's two visits to the country. During a press conference, the two leaders said the scope of cooperation would be unlimited. This is an interesting development in the Sahel region, which is plagued by Islamic terrorism and tense geopolitical crises. Benin, like Togo and Ivory Coast, have suffered terrorist attacks since 2018, which have spilled over from Sahel into Africa and have been attributed to Al-Qaeda. Paul Kagame said Rwanda has strengthened its capabilities and there was no limit to what could be achieved together to address security challenges. Noting that the argument was based on the experience of the Rwandan army, President Patrice Talon said cooperation could include monitoring, mentoring, training, joint deployment. Rwanda's approach to peace and security is shaped by its history and the international community's reluctance to save more than a million people during the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. The search for stability and the prevention of a repeat of the genocide, both internally and externally, have been an integral part of Rwanda's post-genocide national and international policy framework. It was in this difficult context that Rwanda's commitment to the peacekeeping doctrine of responsibility to protect was born.